what would you recommend to young people? And I remember, I remember you, um, when, we, when we met a few weeks ago, you said if you're stuck in a job that you find monotonous and like that you can, you can really, you're motivated, you're innovative, and you want to bridge out and, and start your own thing, but sometimes you're kind of, you're stuck because you need to pay the bills and you, you know, you're, you're what, what would you, what would be the route that you would recommend someone to go from their monotonous job that's nine to five and that they're kind of bored with and that, and, but they really feel and have the passion to, to achieve. How do you, how do you start something new while dedicating, you, having to go to work and, 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 and live the life that you, and pay the bills that you have? Now that, that's going to take, <clears throat> that will take a book, which I may have to write one year. Okay. From, okay. And that book will be how to succeed in the world. And that book has to do with the one issue, and that is communication. One issue is communication and knowing yourself. Knowing yourself is very important. You, you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in your talents. You have to believe in your smarts. You have to believe that you're capable and you're, and if you don't believe in yourself, it's going to be very difficult for you to be successful at anything you do. So let's start with that. If you don't have self-confidence, and there could be a lot of reasons why you don't have self-confidence. Um, uh, a lot of kids grow up uh, being abused uh, rather than using it. By the way, I was a stutterer. I forgot to tell you that. Mm. I stuttered when I was a young oh, kid. Oh, wow, okay. I overcame the stuttering because I, it, it bothered me. It bothered me, wow. and, I, and I worked at it. Wow. And I was careful in how I enunciated, how I pronunciated, and speak too quickly. Uh, so I get the words out, and then after a while became... So what I'm saying is you have to overcome your difficulties, and you have to work at, you, at, at what, it, what you don't like about yourself. When you like yourself, you can be successful at anything you do. If you don't like yourself, right. you're not going to be successful anywhere, right. period, mm. okay? So that's my first word of advice is get to know yourself. Look at yourself as a human being. Try to uh, improve in those areas where you really need improving and to say, well, I'm perfect. You know, Nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect now. There are a lot of areas I have today which I'd like to see better, and I constantly work at it, even at my age. I constantly want to be better than who I was. And this, the next thing that I think is very important is to be and do what you like doing. Anybody who is caught in a job or a career that you hate, the longer you stay in it, the more you become attached to it and the more difficult it is to get away from it. Do not allow yourself to fall into that rut where you just you get up every morning and say, ah, uh, right. I like that. I like, <laughs> what am I going? I don't, yeah. I don't want to get out of bed. Right. Uh, or, or a job, I'll tell you, the, the, the greatest thing I learned years ago, I was, I was at a store one day, and I was, I, it happened to be like 7 o'clock, and I was giving a class in the store, and I said to somebody, uh, what time is it? And he said, oh, I don't know. I think it's like 1 o'clock or something like that. I said, no, no, it's 7 o'clock. He says, 7 o'clock. Where'd the time go? When you like what you're doing, right. time goes quickly. When you hate what you're doing, time goes very slow. <laughs> and by the way, the more you hate your job, the more it becomes, it's like being caught up in molasses where you can't move. Everything mm. slows down. And after a while, just to get from 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock becomes an eternity. And that means, dummy, <laughs> go do something else. Right. Do, make less money. It's, it's not worth the money you're making. I would take less money Right. And be happy with what I'm doing. Absolutely. Because then you're better with your family. You're better with your friends. You're better with everybody. When you're miserable, okay. you're grouchy, you're lousy, you're bad with your family, you're bad with your kids. Um, so I just, 
don't do what you don't like to do and try to find the place. And you can find a place. I remember I started out wanting to be a doctor. I ended up a pharmacist. Right. And now I sell hammers. Now, how do you figure that? <laughs> uh, well, think about no, it. it. How do you get from this to this to this? Well, it all happened because I wanted to be at a place that I enjoy. I love what I'm doing now. I love what I did at Home Depot. And I love the, the career of selling. I love selling. I love meeting people, talking to people. And you have to find that niche for yourself. And life will be better for you. Mr. Marcus, thank you very much for sharing this, your wisdom from 90 years of experience. Not only 90 years of experience, but 90 years of accomplishing and really transforming the world. So thank you so much for taking your time and being with us today. And we'll see you all soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.